You sure you got it? Yeah, come on, let's go. Hello, uh, I wonder if you could help me. I've got a bit of a problem. Uh, sorry, I missed that. Well, you made the right pig's ear of that. How did that happen? Don't ask me. Uh, yes, uh, he or indeed she should be able to top the bill. Yes, yes, start turn. You do? Marvellous, marvellous. I don't know why I volunteered for this. I must have been mad. Come on, Terry, where's your Christmas spirit? I haven't arrived yet. No, 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 no. Dolores, the exotic dancer, isn't quite right. Uh, but perhaps I should point out, I do work for a religious organisation. Quite. What a shambles. Talk about the last push. All this should have been done days ago. Well, well, thank you very much for trying. It, yes, it is short notice. M mustache, you know, t time is of the essence and all that. Tell me something I don't know. Just say yes. Marlon, I want to know what I'm saying yes to. An evening of oriental delights. It doesn't sound very Christmassy to me. What? Excuse me? It's, it's pants or season, Bernice, and I will be dressed <clears throat> as the genie of the lamp. Oh, no, no, I don't want any more theme nights. No, 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 it's not going to be a theme night. It's going to be a night where dreams come true. Go on. Oh... All right, then. You're Aladdin nights on, but I hope I'm not going to live to regret this. You want that? What, about Christmas lunches? Now, you know my feelings on that, Marlon. You drum up enough trade and you can do your Christmas lunches. Now, Trisha and I won't be here this afternoon. We're over helping out at the Christmas show. So Gavin's in charge, right? Yes, sir. I've managed to get somebody. Really? Yeah, at the eleventh hour, so to speak. But should be plain sailing from now on in. Touch wood. <laughs> Are you sure you know what you're doing? Huh. Now there's a silly question, if ever I heard one. I hope you're wearing rubber soles, lad. Your electricity don't muck about, you know. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. What How old is he? Well, still up to it, I presume. Actually, I hadn't thought of that. But, 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 I managed to get the great Zaldo thrown in as part of the package. Ashley, when is the dress rehearsal? The children are starving. Right, right, right. Um, uh, uh, OK, everyone, uh, why don't we take five? You what? OK, 15. Half an hour, Ashley. We've been here since eight. OK, half an hour. But, just to say, Panic over. We've managed to find our headliner, a very funny man who's apparently played more theatres than most of us have had hot dinners. On his last legs, you mean? I'm told that in his heyday, he was quite a regular on the London stage. Well, I'll believe that when I see it. It's not fair. It wasn't just me that wrote that stupid panto. It was our Mark and all, remember? Don't worry, I shall be having words with him and all. It's about time you started behaving yourself. You've changed your tune. Oi, madam. Less of the lip. You're grounded and that's final. Oh, Merry Christmas to you and all! I don't know how much more of this I can take. She'll be all right. I don't mean just her, do I? I mean everything. Look, all we need is a bit of time together. Look, I'll tell you what. Let's make this a real family Christmas. Turkey, crackers, the lot. It's going to take more than a few crackers to put this family right, Sean. So, how's it going, then? Don't ask. Right. Where's Cathy, then? Diner with Betty and Sarah. Oh, come on, Marlon. There must be a job going. It's Christmas. Look, last time I gave you a job, I got the sack. Remember? It wasn't my fault. Really? Oh, come on, I'll do anything. Honest. Christmas day lunch, 20 quid. Take it or leave it. You're on. Oh, Bernice, can I have a word? Yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush, Scott. It's about the uh, Dale Tech Christmas do. Oh, well, you'd have to speak to Marlon. He appears to be the party man. Trisha! Oh, come on, we're going to be late. Gavin, make sure that's Graham's last pint. He's got some tricky dance steps to remember. Hey, you wouldn't catch me on that stage again for all the tea in China. That's because you don't know what you're missing. Oh, but I do. That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> you've got a bargain there, love. Now, what about your mate? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year. Out! You are? I said out. I'll have 
no peddlers in here. This is a respectable pub. Hey, oh, no. no time to argue, Zach. I want you and then bits of Ollie the other side of that door, all right? <laughs> when do you want it? Monday. And how do you intend paying for it? I think that's my business, Mama. Not if you want booze and nibbles up front, it's not. <laughs> I'll put 100 quid behind the bar. Bye. Scott, what's this about a Dale Tech Christmas bash? Well, it makes good business sense. And what happened to consulting me first? Which he, it's a few volivons and a thousand bottles of wine. Hardly constitutes a board meeting. <sighs> Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Children singing Christian rhymes. Are you sure you're up to this? There's no wrong with my piano playing. If you want my honest opinion, I think it's you who's a touchstone deaf. Either that or you are. Who's making that flaming racket? You can hear it way over at the diner. Thank you for that resounding vote of confidence, mm. Betty. Betty, well, how was I to know it was him? <laughs> <laughs> Beginners, please. If you wouldn't mind. Ooh. Guess who's got himself a job? A job? Yeah. Happy Marlon out on Christmas Day. Oh, no, you're not. We're having a family Christmas, and that includes you. But, Mum! I'm not arguing, Mike. You're spending Christmas Day here, and that's that. We're going to enjoy ourselves if it kills us. Oh, I'm 16. I can do what I want. Not in this house, you can't. I hate it here. Great. That makes two of them upstairs. Where the hell did we go wrong, Sean? I know, I'm running a bit late. I was just coming over, actually. You don't see any bandages, do you? Bandages? There's been a bit of an accident. Accident? Well, it's Graham. He fixed his twisted his ankle. Oh, you're joking. How did he do that? Well, he's practising his dance moves. He's lucky he landed up with a twisted ankle, if you ask me. All the way he was flaying his legs about. It's no wonder he hasn't given himself double hernia. But he's supposed to be my dance partner. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any dancing today, Pip. Well, who else is going to do it, then? Well, I don't know. Benice is sorting it out now. Oh! But you've got to go on, Terry. There's no one else. And you'll be doing us an enormous favour. What about Gavin? Well, he can't do it. He's working at the Woolpack, isn't he? Oh, well, it looks like you have got yourselves a problem, then. Oh, come on, Terry. After all, it's not as if you're as strange as a showbiz. Yes, and haven't you partnered Viv before? Yeah. And that's another thing. Viv and me are barely speaking at the moment. But, Terry... I've I... told you, Bernice, no. You're not getting me on that stage, and that's final. A bit of a problem. Uh, could be nothing, of course, but, uh, well, well, the star turn doesn't appear to have turned up. Oh, great. Yo-ho-ho. What if he doesn't? Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Sarah, get the kids on stage. Yes. Yes, think that's it. Uh, get the kids on stage, Sarah. Well, the very, very best of luck, everyone. Yeah. Break a leg. Any troops? Oh, no way to Welcome 
to our Christmas show. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a wonderful show for you tonight, uh, hopefully. Um, I I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for coming along. Uh, the, the proceedings from tonight's show will be going to a local children's charity. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I'm sure you'll all agree is a very worthy, worthy cause. Uh, so, without further ado, let the proceedings commence. Take it away, Seth! There's still time. Let's not panic just yet. No. No, no, you're right. Where the blasted hell is he? Shh. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks a million, old boy. That was the scenic route, was it? Cuffed a man before, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Holy joking, right? If you'd like to slip them on me, Eric. What's up? There's no sign of him hey, down here. Hey. I can see you've done this before, Eric. <laughs> no sign of who? The star turn, of course. Who do you think I meant? Father Christmas. Hey, don't you start getting funny with me, lad. Sorry, look. When he turns up, just send him backstage, all right? Don't you mean if he turns <laughs> up? Right! If you'd like to slip that sack over my head, Eric. Tell me, Eric, ever thought of changing careers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should have a bag on your head, Pollard! <laughs> oh, he's never going to get out of that. Well, it's a trick, isn't it? Well, it looks pretty real to me. What did you have to go and ask Terry for? There was no one else, Bib. It's a case of Hobson's choice. Oh, please. I'm going to go and help with the interval drinks. Right, you are. Oh, here we go. It's exciting, isn't it? There you go. Cheers. <sighs> Same again, please, Barman. There you are. No, oh, we haven't been introduced. My name is Witty Willie. Oh. Alan Turner. But you can call me Reggie. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, we aim, please. <laughs> Would you care to have a tipple with me? No, 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 please. You have one with me. No, oh, well, I was never one to argue. <laughs> Cheers. Is Kelly all right? Uh, same as usual, I think. Why? Well, it's just that Roy's been a bit down lately and I, I wondered if something was up. Oh, who knows, Lisa? She's a mystery to me. There you go, mate. <laughs> I hope you're not doing what I think you're doing. What's up, then? Hey, here, Betty. Have this on the house. Oh. <laughs> well, it is the season of... Goodwill, after all. <laughs> Be a bit more discreet, will you? 
Nice work, Eric. Oh. I didn't do it, really. Well, thought you were a natural. Well, so do I. Quite the showman when you want to be. I must say, it did feel rather good up there. Mm. Well, and so was this little one. Aww. Didn't know we had a star in the family. <laughs> Can I be a singer when I grow up, Daddy? Well... <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show will continue in three minutes. Well, three minutes. Well, work calls, old boy. Work? Uh, are you expected over at the village hall, Bernard, aren't you? I am the star turn. But would you do me a favour, old boy? What's that, then? Point me in the right direction. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much. Very kind, very, very kind. <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm past caring. Excuse me. Am I in the right place? Oh, Witty Willie's the name. I'm afraid I'm a tad late and car broke down. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me, really. Oh, perhaps we can talk later, old boy. Eh? I have a show to do. Oh, yes. Oh. Music. things I say are silly. That's why the pretty girls all fall for me. I tell them comic wheezes, they quickly unfreezes. There's nothing like a comics repartee. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Are you all right? Yeah. Come on, Litty, are you all right? Yes. Yeah. Of course you are. I'm sorry I'm a bit late, you know. I'm, a, I'm afraid I had a row with the wife. Mm, I brought her with me, though. Well, it was better than kissing a goodbye, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, the, oh, I've got a message, a message from the management. I should have told you this straight away as soon as I came on. Will the owner of a brown uh, Robin Reliant kindly move it as there's a rat trying to drag it down the drain pipe? <laughs> so I went in the wall pack over the road, you know. Funny crowd, man came in the bar, said the barman, he said, I want four large whiskies. And the barman said, right, so I pulled out these four large whiskies. And the fellow said, straight away with one of them, straight down. Second one, straight down. Third one, and the barman said, just a minute. He said, you shouldn't drink them as fast as that. And the fellow said, you'd drink them as fast as that if you'd got what I've got. He said, what have you got? He said, 30p. <laughs> Music, maestro, me. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know all the world wants to laugh? My dad said, be an actor, my son, but be a comical one. Charm all the critics, but you wouldn't be able to eat. But to fall on a banana skin, the world's at your feet. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. <laughs> so he brought me this chicken. I said, it's only got one leg. He said, what do you want to do? Eat it or dance with it? <laughs> so how's the ankle? Fine. I said to the waiter, this lobster's only got one claw. Oh. Excuse me, Graham, I'm said, not being funny. Fight, Would you mind helping with the clearing up? I said, well, bring me the winner. <laughs> Music, hey. please. There's no wrong with your ankle. When you're That's smiling. the cue. Everybody on stage for the finale. Right. Shall I fill her up before the floodgates open? Yes, yes. Oh, show must be over by now. 
I wonder how Reggie got on. Good night. Good night, Betsy. Oh, sorry. On the contrary. Oh, hey, nice one, Witty. We're just over to Woolpack for a few bevies. Fancy joining us? Try and stop me, old boy. Oh, see you there then. Hey, you always wear a top dancer. Like on time, eh? <laughs> well, well, well. Bettina Dupont. What brings you here? Hello, Reggie. Oh, may I just say you were absolutely marvellous. Oh, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, cheeky. <laughs> well, you must come over to the wall pack for a drink. I think you deserve one on the house. Most kind. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, it's just like old times, isn't it? Me, just finishing a show, and you... Oh, is it? I don't remember. It's so long ago. Still as feisty as ever, eh? I'll tell you something. You're still an absolute cracker. Don't start all that, Reggie. <laughs> ah, so there you are. Been looking all over for you. Oh, Mr Piano Player, we haven't been introduced. Seth Armstrong. Oh, yeah. And this is my Betty. I'm her, uh... Husband? Well, more a uh, fancy man to tell you the truth. <laughs> really? Now, come on, Seth, it's time we went. Look, why don't you join us over at Wolfpack? I'd like to buy you a drink, and I don't sell that to many folk. I'll see you over there. You too, Betty. Come on, though. He's a nice fella. Is he? I don't know. I hardly spoke more than two words to him. He only lives in Horton. Horton? You know, I might ask him if he fancy joining our bowling team. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. He doesn't look the type that plays bowls. Uh, maybe not, but Pierre's going to be deceptive, can't they? Ah, uh, they can. <laughs> Go on, love. They can, that. Uh... <laughs>